Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom again, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom at when I feel like it at clock. Oh, clock. A clock. Is that, how, is that a Canadian thing? Do we say that? A clock? Tell me in the comment section. Yeah, when I feel like it at clock, because that's when we do things here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries, when we feel like it. It's a philosophy that I have. You might... Uh, you might want to read my book about it. It's called Perlo. I wrote this when I felt like it. Yeah, we do things when we feel like it. Pants-free living. That doesn't mean you don't wear under cl bottom clothes. It means you don't pants. Anything that is constricting. We're talking about kilts are okay, shorts, uh, sweats, all of those loosely fitting things. We're going to end war with this. Anyways, I'm getting to NHL. <laughs> I'm going to, doing a series about free agents, and I'm going to be doing it right away, if I haven't lost you already. We're going to do NHL free agents. Uh, I have a show that I do from 3 to 5 Eastern, five days a week, Monday to Friday. And uh, we did where every free agent is going to go. It's interactive. You, I, I say the free agent, you're, you go there in the comments, uh, com comments section, but in the chat room, tell me where you think it's going to go. We bang it back and forth. We're also doing um, uh, an expansion, Seattle expansion mock draft, which you can check with my other videos that I do here, that I've done here for you. And you can check those out as well. Um, it's fun. And just come on the show. I'd love to have you. Three to five Eastern. Five days a week, Monday to Friday. These two fellows in the background that you see, uh, Ovechkin and Hamilton, we talked about the last time we did this. You can go watch where I said they were, we said they were going to go. But we're continuing the series and we're starting with Pekka Rene. We're going to go to it right now after you subscribe and hit the bell. Oh, wait. There you go. Didn't that make you feel good inside when you did that? Just ooh, ooh, boom. Makes you feel good on your insides. Okay. Let's get to cap friendly. No, that's not what we want. We want this. And let's make sure everybody can see the fine programming that we're doing. There we go. Okay. So we're starting with Pekka Rene. Now, when we did Pekka Rene, um, and move me over here because you don't really need to see me, do you? Um, Pekka Rene is what, six. He has talked about retiring, but it hasn't been all that convincing. He's thought about it. He doesn't know. I have a feeling he's going to come back for one more year. I think he wants to win a cup. And if he does, and Lundqvist can't do it for Washington, I could see that. I could see him going to Washington and helping out a young uh, team like that. If the New York Rangers lose Gorgiev to expansion, which is very positive, possible, or have to trade him away, that would be a good thing. Go with Shesterkin. You know, you don't need to be the man, help the kid out. Um, now, do you think the Rangers are ready? They got Gallant in there. I, honestly, that team can be ready at any time right now. They've got, That talent can bust out at any time so we thought about the rangers we thought about what if rask retires maybe he goes to boston um there's a lot of teams that i think would show interest in pekka renee uh maybe toronto if anderson's not working out they could help he could help out over there so if he wants to play there's lots of teams out there um i think pittsburgh penguins though I think the Pittsburgh Penguins would be uh, a really good spot for Jari. He wouldn't cost much. He could help out Jari. Uh, I think Jari's got a lot of skill. He's a talented kid. He just got a little lost after he was under the, you know, they took the, the comfort of having Murray beside him, and he had to be the number one guy. He got a little lost there. And Pekka Rene could go there and help him out, and they're, they're, they're still contenders, let's face it, Uh you still have to call them in the contender category. So that's where I think. Pittsburgh Penguins. Frederick Anderson. Also possibly Pittsburgh Penguins as well. Because um, 
Frederick Anderson's going to have to probably take a big pay cut if he's ready. I don't know what his injury issues were, but um, whatever they are, if they're better now, he's probably going to have to take a pay cut because people are going to be worried about it. There's no way he's getting $5 million a year. I think Pekka Rene would come in cheaper for Pittsburgh than Anderson, but a couple guys in the chat said, Uh, Pittsburgh and I made sense now another thing that we thought about is the San Jose Sharks the San Jose Sharks really need to find a cheap goaltender to go with Jones you can't they can't trust Jones now they got that Colasar kid they may want to roll with him but if they really still want to be contenders as Carlson has said they didn't come here to do a rebuild so if they want to find a way to be a contender, they're probably not going to run a roll with that kid. So they need to find somebody as a veteran to help Jones. And Anderson might be able to come in on the cheap. And if they're confident that his injury issues are over, not a bad attempt there. So you got to take some risks. Pittsburgh has to take risks. San Jose's got to take risks right now, the way the, the way their contracts are. And the way they have very little cap room to roll with. And, you know, they haven't been making the playoffs, but they're not rebuilding. They got to kind of take risks now and hope that they pan out. So I think the San Jose Sharks would be a pretty decent spot for Frederick Anderson. If you, uh, there's also going to be a lot of teams losing uh, backup goaltenders. Maybe the Montreal Canadiens take a peek at them. Um, because they're probably they're probably going to want another veteran to help Price, although I don't think they want to take an injury guy. Because um, Allen, they'll probably lose Allen. Tell me what you think. What do you got there with uh, where Anderson may go in the comment section? Marion Gabrick is finally off the books of whoever who ha- who has Gabrick and is using him to get get uh, to get up to the cap floor. I think it's Detroit, maybe. Something like that. I don't know. He's gone anyways. Well, I can always find out by moving it over here. Maybe I can't. Doesn't say. Oh, Tampa Bay Lightning. The Tampa Bay Lightning. It's right there. Right there. Okay. Um, Kyle Palmieri. This was an interesting one. We had a long discussion about Kyle Palmieri. Um, a lot of people think he's going to go back to the Islanders. A lot of people in the chat room thought he was going to go back to the Islanders. Um, he had what 20, he only had 21 points in the regular season, but he's having a stellar playoffs. Um, I don't think the Islanders are an option unless he really wants to like be an Islander and signs for like 2 million. Cause they are really close to capped out. Now they could find a place for Letty or somebody or some guys like that, maybe Bailey and take Palmieri instead. That does make some sense, but they have to try to do that. Those guys are making $5 million. They can try to pawn them off on Seattle with the draft pick, probably. Uh, and in which case, I agree. He would probably stay on the island if that's the case. He's only 30 years old. They could sign him to probably almost what he was already making, which was, what, $5 million? Yeah, $5 million or so, uh, which is about what Bailey was making as well. So if they prefer him over Bailey or something like that, then yeah. Otherwise, I think he goes somewhere else. And um, there's possibilities that there's been kind of scuttlebutt that he'd go back to New Jersey, uh, which makes sense. He just likes it in New Jersey. I mean, they're not going to win a cup there in the next little while, but he's only 30 years old. He can continue on the rebuild there. His team got a first for him to go to the island. He goes back to New Jersey. That would not surprise me at all, actually, if he really loves New Jersey that much. If he wants to go for the money, if he just wants to fly out there for the money and try to, you know, go anywhere in the league, um, we talk a lot about how the LA Kings are going to be adding a lot. I think what actually makes sense is the Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver Canucks love Palmieri type players. They love to overpay players. <laughs> and they need wingers to help out Peterson and... Uh, Horvat and those guys like that. So I could see them ponying up a lot if Palmieri, especially if he wins a cup this year. So tell me where you think that Palmieri might go. Um, 
Oh, Boston Bruins. That was the other one before I go on. Boston Bruins. Boston definitely needs scoring depth. They're going to have to rework their salary structure a little bit. Maybe don't bring back Krejci. Bring in Palmieri. I've heard about not bringing back Krejci, but who are you going to put in the second line center spot if you don't bring back Krejci? I don't know. But Palmieri just seems like a Boston guy, right? So those are the guys that uh, I'd be looking at there. Um, actually, why don't we look at this for a second? Why not? We got time. We got time, right? Where is he from? It's not telling me. What? How come it's not telling me? No, it's not working. Uh, never mind. We'll just keep on going because we don't want this to go too long. Okay. Um, next one we have Ryan Murray. Ryan Murray um, could resign with New Jersey. He actually didn't have a bad season finally, but it, you know he had 14 points in 48 games. He's a defensive defenseman at this point of his career. He probably can get get him on cheaper than four point six million. Um, oh, there he is. Now we see. It just took a really long time. Uh, he is from. Wow, it doesn't even tell you here. Anyway, does anybody know where Palmieri's from? Let me know. I'm not going to go any more into it. Okay, uh, Ryan Murray, we think the Toronto Maple Leafs. We think the Toronto Maple Leafs would go would go for uh, Ryan Murray. Uh, they need a defensive defenseman. I mean, he'll probably come in cheap. He can play top four minutes. Uh, he's from that area, I do believe. He probably would be interested in playing for Toronto. So, yeah, Ryan Murray to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, again, uh, possibly Vancouver. Any team that really needs defensemen and want to get him on the possibly could get him on the cheap might give him a shot. The problem is he had one sort of injury free year. I'm not sure that that's going to happen again. Or he could just stay in New Jersey. But those are the ones we were looking at. Uh, it'd be funny if he went to the Oilers because they could have had him. But they took. Uh, 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 Russian oh anyway it's a really bad Russian first overall pick it'll he'll it'll come to me it was terrible I didn't like that pick I didn't want him to pick him he had an attitude problem everybody knew it nail nail Yakubov there we go perfect okay <laughs> I remembered Artem Anisimov probably he could go anywhere he could go back to the KHL. I think he'd make more money at the KHL at this. I think he'll go to the KHL. He's kind of slipped. He's been slipping every single year. Uh, maybe somebody. He got nine points in 19 games for Ottawa. I don't think Ottawa will take him. They have young players that could probably use him now. At this point, he's a fourth liner, and at most, he'd be making a million a year. So, could be a lot of different places if he wants to stay, if he really wants to make the money. Which I wouldn't doubt he would because he did, he's done okay in his career, but more is always better when you're a hockey player and your career is going to end. So I think KHL is probably a, for him. Uh, Marcus Johansson uh, uh, played in Minnesota, uh, put up some decent points. He's one of those utility guys that could, you could throw out in so many different places. Uh, anybody that's looking for some cheap depth. Um, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs again. We say that a lot. Uh, the Edmonton Oilers, Florida Panthers, uh, Washington Capitals may want some cheap depth like that. Uh, any team that's really up to the cap and wanting to fill out that roster with an NHL caliber utility player. Marcus Johansson has played center. They have him as a center. He's not a good center, though. You really want to play him on the wing. Um, tell me there, where do you where do you think that uh, he may go? He may stay in Minnesota as well. They could, if they don't have a, a young player to take his role right now, they may just line him up there. Um, New York Islanders would probably lose a couple. That's a team that I could see taking Johansson. He's one of those utility guys that could go anywhere. 
Brandon Sutter, I think he'll try to go to Calgary and play with his uh, uncle, I guess, that would be there in Calgary. I, and I think Calgary just likes to take those type of players. Big guy, doesn't really do much. You know, <laughs> Calgary loves that. <laughs> Calgary likes guys that don't really do much but are big. So it feels like Calgary Flames. That's who we, we had him going. Uh, Brennan Smith, he could go to several different places. He's a seventh defenseman at this point. So, um, basically, anybody who wants a little bit of grit and a guy that can play on the seventh, uh, either that or he could sign with Seattle. I could see him signing with Seattle to try to extend his career um, or going to, like, Anaheim or a bottom feeder team like Detroit or something like that. Maybe Stahl went over there. They could, they could probably still don't have enough young players to fill out that roster. He's going to do something like that. And finally, we go, we'll go down to Ranta. Uh, Devin Dubnik, if he doesn't retire, he'll be, a, he'll be a third goaltender for somebody. Ian Cole, um, they really liked him in Minnesota. I think he'll stay in Minnesota, most, most likely. Good defensive defenseman. He did a good job there. There's a spot there for him. And finally, Antti Ranta. If the guy could just not be injured for more than... He plays two games and he's out. I don't know who's going to take a chance on him. But the, some of the teams we already mentioned that may have to take risks here and just cross their fingers that they can figure out a way to keep this guy healthy. Um, Ranta, Toronto Maple Leafs, San Jose Sharks. Um, got teams that are right up against the cap. And they're about to, you know, really can't afford to get a solid backup goaltender. Because if Antti Ranta can stay away from injury, he stops pucks. It's weird. He'll go on injury. He'll go on injured reserve. And the moment he comes back, he stops pucks like crazy. Like the moment. It doesn't take him a little while to get into it. He's so used to being injured, he can just go like that. So those are the guys that I think he may go to there. Okay. That's our full 42. Thank you for playing Where Do the Free Agents Go? This was fun. Uh, I'll be doing it again. I'll be doing a lot of series similar to this. And today we'll be doing a show. We'll be finishing up our Seattle expansion draft frolic that we've been doing. And uh, we'll make up a roster from that. It's already kind of, I can see how it's already going to have to change. And we'll have to go back and do it again and uh, see where else we can go because we're all just learning together, right? Have a great day. Okay. Bye. Oh, Steel Flyers All Sports Network. www.steelflyersallsportsnetwork. Crushing website. With It's going to be an actual all sports, uh, every sport, all four sports, all teams, vloggers, bloggers, everything you can think of. It's going to be amazing. Okay, bye.